Kia ora, Denise. Lovely to see you. Kia ora. Nice to be here with you. So we can see that NZ I W R. Yeah, five letters in some order. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> New Zealand Institute of Wellbeing and Resilience are doing a lovely piece at the moment um, and focus on finishing well, finishing the end well. And I'm kind of aware that we all started this year with our, you know, cup not even half full, eh? And 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 yet. Um, and yet this is your focus. Tell me about it. Yeah. Well, you see, also some of us are cup half full people. And then for those of us who are pessimists like me, I'm a recovering pessimist and my glass isn't half full. My glass has smashed on the floor. There's <laughs> water everywhere. And I've stood in some glass. So it's been, yeah, it's been that kind of year. Um, and, and so it hasn't been a tough year. It's been a tough three years mm. and everyone's really deeply, deeply tired. Yeah. And so one of the things we realized back in 2020, I think, working with some principals through Leaders Connect that um, leadership lab runs mm. was quite how important it was to think about finishing well. Yeah. That if we if we just kind of drag ourselves through to yeah. the holidays and then at some point you're lying hopefully on a beach in early January thinking oh I never thanked anyone and you're realizing mm. who's been good and what's happened and so we want to it's actually really lovely to give yourself a little breathing space now to think about what does it mean to finish well yeah and, yeah. and for us that's there's finishing well, as in a state of well-being. Mm -hmm. And then there's also doing some good finishing. And, and so if I think about those, the first part is finishing with you well. And so I really want to say to everyone watching, that means more self-care now. And um, that means not waiting until December 26th to start looking after yourself. <laughs> You know, lower or, or adding it to the resolutions again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's lower the bar. Be kind. Do less. Done is better than good. Real, not perfect. All of those things we keep saying. Yeah. Um, nobody does. Anybody really need another handmade Christmas card? No. Stop. You know, and let's not make things worse for ourselves. But let's actually slow down and and I look at you've given me permission not to make and main christmas cards i never have but um oh god um, no. but, I've, but i love having permission just not to and uh, who needs a christmas cake hmm. who needs a plum pudding it's the middle of summer you know and who needs wrapped gifts who needs gifts you yeah. know reset that bar yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and i think the other thing is too is that it's sort of like not you know, there's a part of me, like just even talking to you now, because I'm getting excited. So I'm kind of like, do you know what? I don't, I don't want to miss out on the rest of 2022. You know, I want to be in yeah. it and, yeah. and 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 enjoy the rest of this. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a, a guy whose work I follow, and he posted something on the first of December that I absolutely loved, and he said, "It's." the run up to Christmas and I love it and I love this period and every time somebody says I hate Christmas and I'm too busy he goes I love it I love this I love all the preparations and if you love them and can enjoy it great yeah. and if not and you're doing them with festering resent them, resentment lower the bar and stop doing it yeah. um, and, you know and, and so the second part of finishing well is finishing with all our relationships well yeah and that means um, appreciating the people who've been there for us through the year, appreciating the people who stepped up, who were flexible, who were creative, mm. who surprised us in a good way. And, and if you do this work now, you get to write really meaningful thank you notes to people rather than see ya, <laughs> you know, <laughs> or, or just digging the pen in with resentment as you write another card yeah you no know? and or, or and you don't have to make a card you just have to walk up to them and say thank you mm. I really appreciate you being there for me this year yeah. and 
And we know that gratitude is also good for us, but so is maintaining our relationships. Caroline Black, who's been working with us in Learning Boost, her main tip for people who want to maintain relationships between now and the end of term was stop hitting reply all on emails. Oh, not it. everybody needs to see everything. Yeah. 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 That's nice, actually. We did a little piece on Spark was recently in the last uh, e-newsletter on um, saying goodbye, the importance of saying goodbye. Yeah. And yeah, and coming to that in a way that's a positive and um and meaningful, you know, because because often when we say the things that are meaningful or extend our gratitude because it's totally real in there for us, it brings with it emotions, and oh, that's completely. what we steer away from. Yeah, and it's, but it's also like, why would you not want to yeah. at this time of year to experience yeah. feeling grateful, to yeah. experience feeling a sense of gratitude to the people who have helped you yeah and to have gotten because it makes you realize I'm not on my own doing this I'm not playing a solo game here there are people who care about me looking after me mm. um that's a good feeling mm. yeah that's right and and it's, and it's it's good for our well-being yeah as well yeah, yeah. we're not waiting and, we're not waiting for well-being when we're saying you know grateful goodbyes and yeah mm. and, 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 yeah yeah. It's been full of appreciation and, yeah. and these are positive emotions you want to be sitting in, not festering resentment. <laughs> and some of us, some of us, the goodwill of the season comes naturally and others of it, we have to actually sit down and work it up, you yeah. know, and, and protect ourselves from some of the craziness, decide where we're going to focus our energy yeah. and then notice what's good. Yeah. And if you are, sitting in a stew of resentment um, and tiredness it's really helpful to be able to pull back and and access some of your nice feelings and remember that you are a good kind person you're just a little bit tired and grumpy at the moment yeah and I've achieved amazing things this year yeah so that's the third part is oh, of finishing well is is that is finishing with pride and morale high you know, and it's really easy to, to kind of crawl across the finish line going, oh, my God, I'm so tired and I can't believe God, it was a hard year. And, and the reason is we've done a lot of work. You've done a lot of good work. You've helped a lot of people. So let's before we finish the year, go, you're tired because it was extra, extraordinary. Yeah. And you have delivered extraordinary support and care. And. And let's take a minute to go, what are you most proud of this year? Mm. What are you most proud of achieving? And what strengths have you shown? You know, where are they sort of your, your core strengths that you draw on every year? Or did this year throw new challenges at you, which mean that you've had to develop new strengths? And are mm. you proud of those? You know, and... I would really encourage teachers to think about what they're proud of and to have another educator that you can share that with and just go, you know, kayako to kayako. Yeah. This year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Revel in it. Yeah. And <laughs> a little bit of pride. Yeah. Little, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. tired because we were supporting communities and yeah. families yeah. and tamariki because yeah. and the country is a better place because of what we've been doing mm. and yeah, yeah we're tired we've been carrying this country on our shoulders and and actually think about the things you're really proud of the difference you've made for people and what you're really proud of and then when we do that a bit like our gratitude it's really nice to share this mm. to share it with other people you know what are your collective wins wouldn't it, you know, if you think about what you're most proud of, wouldn't it be nice to have a discussion about, well, what is everybody else in your team most proud of? What were their moments that really touched them? What strengths did they draw on? And learn, you learn a bit about each other and you feel like a tighter, more cohesive team when you finish. Yeah, yeah. And get to express those moments when you saw them 
um, you know, practicing that skill or that strength. Yeah. And then the beautiful thing about doing this, about thinking of like, what are you proud of? What did you learn most? What really worked well? Um, it starts to, we have ideas and we, mm -hmm. we, we end up getting to the place of, wow, that really was good. And, and, you know, I think we can build on that or, and what I want to do differently next year. And so by thinking about what worked well and what we're proud of, our thoughts really naturally then turn towards what do I want to do next? Mm. And so at the end of our little um, finishing well personal review, we leave space for people to think about what's one thing you really want to make happen next year? You know, what's something, how do you want to use some of these ideas and some of this learning? And some of it might be not doing that again, but there yeah. might be some, yeah, I definitely want to make this yeah. happen. You know? And having whatever it is that we've seen or have available now be available day dot next year as well. Yeah. 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 And, and why wait and do a review in February? Now is the time for the review. Mm, I agree. Because yeah. part of the big part of the review is celebrating the wins together, having the collective, those insights together. Mm. And then the other thing we've been talking about is and if some people aren't really in a position to be ready to think about next year, we need to think about what more support can we put around people so they can finish this year well. And I don't know if you've seen it, but we've, we've often shared a, a beautiful image that was from a wobble room in North Derby in the UK. So this was in the worst days of COVID there. This hospital had a wobble room. And if you had come to the end of being able to be a strong health practitioner, looking after desperately mm. ill and scared people, mm. you could go into this room and have your wobble. Yeah. And they yeah. had this beautiful sign on it that, was, that had these things like, remember you're not alone. Um, <laughs> kindness will get us through. Yeah. Um, and then one of them was embrace the challenge and we'll, we'll learn something through this. And I'm like, yeah, forget that one right now. If you're too tired for that, just, you know, kindness will get us through and you're not alone. Yeah. Um, and and I, I think that's the thing. If you're well enough to be able to finish well, turn your gaze outwards and see, is there anyone else around you that could maybe do with a little bit of support? Perfect. And we're going to share these resources below. Oh, yes, please. So oh, we'll have them available. Okay. Um, and I thought you were going to show them then, but you're not. That's all good. So we will have them available for you. Yeah. And I just want to say these are resources that you can use for yourself. Sit down with a cup of tea. Look at how you can... Mm finish the year well and then there's one for our wheel that's relevant for any team and it doesn't matter whether you've been working on well-being or not it's just a way of getting you to think through what's gone on in the year and what you can learn from it collectively and um yeah we're very really really excited and keen to share them with sparklers because i really just want to say thank you to all of the kayako out there for the work that you have done and yeah, I'm not exaggerating when I say I think you've carried us all through. I think health and education have been carrying us all through the year. And I know from the schools and the communities that we've been talking to that communities have a deeper appreciation of schools. Mm. As the COVID pan you know, pandemic started of realising how much their schools hold them and look after them. Yeah. So, Thanks to everyone who's been responsible for that. No wonder you're tired, and I hope you get a good break. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And yeah. hold, 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 and please let go. Yeah. Thanks, Anissa. Love that. Always. Pleasure. Thank you.